just 20 minutes outside of Buffalo, New York, Niagara Falls is one of the most awe-inspiring sights in the world. Majestic in scope, the falls are a testament to nature's raw power. Power which has been harnessed into a major energy source for the state. A force of nature in his own right, Marcel Darius has harnessed the turbulence of his early life and turned it into raw power and energy on the field. My journey is passionate, loyal, elite. Powering through for that sack. Marcel Darius, number 99, defensive tackle, Buffalo Bills, and this is my journey. It, this walking game there is just really like the transformation point. It's just like you're really, you're like you're really getting yourself in the game mode. You got your pass on, you're ready to hit the field for the warm up. You just really like, really listen to the crowd, taking it in the stadium, because the stadium is right over you. You hear people stomping, you hear the fans. And it just, you hear the Bill song, and it just kind of just, just transform into something else, to the person you need to be at the time right now. It's just, just game time. He's going to be dropped, Mr. Big Stuff, Marcel Darius with the sack. It's crazy, but you, I actually really do turn into Mr. Big Stuff, because I, I'm out here, and I'm in my safe haven. There's nothing can bother me out here. I'm completely fine. I'm not thinking about anything. I can be whoever the hell I want to be. I am Mr. Big Stuff out here. I can do what I want, when I want, how I want. Marcel Darius has become one of the NFL's most powerful and dominant forces at the line of scrimmage. In 2014, he led all defensive tackles with 10 sacks. Wrapped up and sack, Marcel Darius brought him down. A year later, he signed a $100 million contract extension. The two-time Pro Bowler consistently commands double teams every play. When you're really good at what you do, you do it because you're passionate about what you do, you love what you do. I don't just get up dread and come to work. I love taking on double teams. I love taking on the work that the other guys wouldn't want to do. The same thing I did to get to the league, the same thing I did to just stay in the league, continue to grow into the person that I'm going to be. It feels great to just know that people notice that. Darius's path to success was not a clear one. He grew up in Birmingham, Alabama, amidst unimaginable poverty, watching his mother battle a chronic illness. When I saw my mom, we didn't have enough money to pay for meds, and it just kind of it broke me. I had to figure out what is there that I can do at 11 years old to help out. And if I invest in myself, invest in something that I want to do now, I'll be better at it in the long run. By the time I get there, I'll be able to help. I've been playing the same position since I was 11 years old. I've never played anything else but nose tackle, D tackle. I figured that's why I'm so good at it. So I always just knew that this is what the Lord wanted me to do. I said, Lord, just help me out, give me something. Give me a sign of something that that this is what you want for me. Picked up by Darius, Marcel Darius. Darius to the 15, he spins to the five, touchdown! Me and a lot of guys, we still talk about that game. I, I wasn't a starter, I was a backup player. I rode on the bench riders bus. We used to ride back there and just talk about what we would do in the game and this and this and that if we played. And me and a friend, Chris Rogers, we was on the bus the day, the day right before the game. I looked at Chris, I was like, Chris, bro, I'm gonna be the MVP. I don't know how I'm gonna do it. I don't know what's going to happen, but I'm going to be the MVP of this game. Coach threw me in the fifth play of the game, and I just knew once I hit the field, the Lord put me on this stage and I have this opportunity. And, and I, know, I know the gift that he gave me, and I know that he wants me to shine bright. I got to do the best I can. I went from being a backup to being the number one overall draft pick, and I was just, like, just blown away. Road time, roll, and I'll be back in the house for this weekend. <laughs> After I left, my mom, she saw me play. On the, on the major level, national championship. She never made it to any of my college games, anything like that, any of my high school games. Came back home and said, Mom, we made it. We, we're on our way. You just need one more one more year. Hey, one more year, we out of here. And um, she she passed not too long after that. And um, it was a big blow. Um, 
I was doing it all for her. It was an overwhelming year for me. His triumphs as a football player are in sharp contrast to the tragedy he's experienced in his life. In addition to his mother, Darius has lost many loved ones along the way. His father and grandparents before the age of eight, and most recently his brother in 2012. He has seen enough to break a man, but instead of crumbling, Darius has built himself up stronger and more powerful. Coming with this comes a lot of trials and tribulations, it's gonna come a lot of heartache, but if you really want it, if you really, really want it, you're gonna have to stay focused. You're gonna have to stay driven. You're gonna stay on task of what you want. My mom will want me to stay focused. My grandma will want me to stay focused. My brother will want me to stay focused. My dad will want me to stay focused. They would want me to sit and mourn and just hurt and want for them when me wanting from them is not gonna happen. I just took it as the Lord was trying to show me how bad do you really want this? And if you really want this, you'll fight through all of this because I'm about to really change your life. Whenever I find myself fighting through it, it's something greater on the other end. Despite all that Marcel Darius has been through, that something greater on the other end often comes with a smile. I can talk about how bad my life was in the past, but like I have so much good going on in my life, how can I how can, I, how can I frown? I got so much to change in my life. I have so much that I can be thankful for. How, why would I walk around with a frown on my face? I mean, everybody got a right to smile. If I put it in the work, why shouldn't I smile? Let's go, let's go, let's go!